Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own images of Fedora Linux using the Ublu framework. So, we need to go to the Ublu website. Now, you can first download the base image that they create. You're going to want to download the ISO, install it, and I'm not going to cover this in this guide, we're just going to talk how you can create your own. So we're going to go into the documentation. Now we have this section, the Tinkerer's Guide. And then we have under setup, the automatic setup web. That's what we're going to use as that is the easiest option. Great. So you're going to see the link here to the web creator. If you want to open that, this here pulled up. Okay, so custom operating system images based on Fedora. Great. We're going to pick or create an image. We want to choose our preferred edition as the base for our image. We can choose like Silverbrus or GNOME, Sequeas or Sway, Voxite, XFCE. And there are other options, but we're going to go with Voxite as that will give us a decent base without starting completely from scratch. Do you want NVIDIA drivers? We're going to say no for this one, as we're going to be testing our image in a virtual machine. Now, it tries to convince us that we don't need to make our own image, but we're going to proceed. So, custom image details. We're going to name this, so I'll name it example image. And description. You can name it whatever you want. Just going to name it the example for the tutorial and the base image of Voxite main. That's what we picked here. Now we need to log into GitHub, so give me a second to do that. Okay. Once you're logged into GitHub, we're going to proceed now with creating the repository. So it's creating the repository, then forking the project. Okay, so been initialized so we can go for it great so now we'll have to set up container sign so container signing would just mean that uh, the pc that will run our uh, image will be able to check if the images generated by github match what they should be and they are not kind of manipulated so we're going to copy this and run this on our virtual machine so you're not going to put in your password you see that's not supported same again nothing here great and now we have this public and private key okay so once you've put your keys into the web app you're going to click submit okay so it's set up the container signing and our repository is almost done. So opening it now. Great. And you can see. So it's not really complete yet to set up the um, generation of the images. We need to go into the actions tab. Say that we understand the workloads. Okay, then we're going to go into build Ublu and enable the workflow. So we're going to just run the workflow for it to generate at least once. And you can see it's going to build. Okay, so once the image has been built, you can obviously rebase it now, but we'll first show you some customization. So this is your repository. And the majority of your configuration will be done here in the config folder. So, and we're going to go into the recipe YML file. So here you can manage things like your image name, the description, what like image is based on. But some of the things that might interest you the most are, for example, here the RPM OS3 section. So we're going to edit it. And hello, let's say we'll be able to install micro and uh, also install 
for example, like For Fedora, so there are a few different F3 packages in Fedora. The F3 config is the one that comes with the stock upstream config. We're going to install uh, Wolfy. Uh, I don't think we need to remove Firefox, just remove this section. Uh, then we have the Bling. So you can choose what you want to install from here. If you uh, want, for example, the Nix installers, uh, they're just for goodness that to show you. Uh, Cube wallpapers, you know, wallpapers are always nice. Then we have uh, Yappy. So we can set up some flat packs that can be installed. So let's open up Flatpub. Maybe let us install something light, so Nyovin. So we're going to copy the ID from Nyovin and install uh, flat. So we're going to put the name Nyovin and then the ID. So then we have script. So you can create some custom scripts for you to run uh, at build time. What we're not going to set up just right now. So I think we can come up to changes. Let's say updated this. Why not? It doesn't really matter what you will say as the commit message. Wait. So it has been updated. So we have the things to install. We're not going to remove Firefox. Great. So in the FT config here, it's also mentioned that. You can further uh, customize the FT in what was the first boot here. YFT why not? Right. So this is a more advanced configuration for YFT, um, which is the first time installer. So we can install some flat packs, remove uh, the Fedora default remote, and uh, maybe let's just add something um, in here. So let's just add, for example, to the web browser section. <coughs> let's maybe add Unreal Chrome. So we'll add the name and the ID. Okay. You can also, for example, change the text that goes up. Generally, the syntax of this file is very self-explanatory, so you shouldn't have much trouble with it. So we're going to update the YFT config. Okay. And now maybe let's do something more advanced. So because you are the distribution maintainer kind of now, you can add system configuration files. We're going to do this in the recipe YML folder using the files module. So we're going to go into here. So the files user share utils. We're going to go back up to user. So we're going to add file, create new file. So we first need to create the Etsy folder. So we just write Etsy and slash. And you can see now that appears in the folder structure. And then the F3. As we want to add an F3 config file. And we call it config. I'll paste that here. And here I'm forgetting the default config now. So let's modify it. So let's just lock it here. So by default, i3 has a keybind to start the menu, but in our image, we're not going to be using it. Instead, we're going to use Profi. We can 
because for example instead of using every sensible terminal we can just make sure that it launches the correct terminal that we have installed of course you can just paste your normal ivory config that you use daily here and it will work just fine we're going to commit the changes we just call it create a free config for clarity and we're going to commit okay so now we have to wait for the github action to build okay now that our image has been built let's rebase to it so we're going to go into our machine and we're going to run this command we're going to have to change it so in this first field you can write your github username and in the second one you're going to want to put the name of your image which is the github repository name and we're going to make it to rebase now okay, so now it's gonna take some time to download so now that the update has been done, we're going to save the input. Just log into XFC for now. Okay, and now we have the FT here. So we can like check what we can install. So we have like the web browsers. Yeah, you can see we have Angular Chromium for now. We're not going to install things for now well maybe just near one so we'll go install and once you have to work has done its work we can for example log out mm, control log out and i'll show you the ivory session so i will just use the defaults because that will use the system config file that we put in our GitHub repository, and you can see, for example, I can launch Rofi now. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you. And yeah, like and subscribe. That's it. Bye.